This is part 10 of Link to SQL tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the difference between eagle loading and lazy loading. We discuss lazy loading in part 8 and eagle loading in part 9. Please watch parts 8 and 9 before proceeding with this video. With lazy loading, we have a problem called n plus 1 select problem. First, let's try and understand this problem with an example. In the example right here, notice that there's a one-to-many relationship between department and employee entities. This means a department can have one or more employees. Now let's say we want to iterate through all the departments and then for each department we want to print the employee first and last names belonging to that department. Now by default, Link to SQL is going to do this. It's going to issue one select query to load all the departments and then n additional select queries to load the employees belonging to each department. In this case, n represents the total number of departments. For example, if we have got three departments, then there's going to be one select query to load all the three departments and then three additional select queries to load the employees belonging to each department. So that's why this is called n plus one select problem. Let's actually prove this with an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So the code that we have here is going to print all the three departments and then the employees belonging to each department. Notice that there are three departments. Now let's uncomment this code which is going to log the generated SQL commands to the console screen. And let's rerun this. Keep in mind there were three departments. So there's one select query to load all the three departments. And then notice that we have got three additional select queries to load the employees belonging to each department. So this is the first additional query. Here we have got IT department. And then when we try to print the employee names belonging to IT department, that's when an additional select query is issued to load the employees belonging to that department. Look at uh, the where clause here, where department ID equals at P0. So it's a parameterized query and the parameter value in this case is 1. And then we have the IT de uh, HR department and then when we try to print the employees belonging to HR department, that's when another additional query is issued and in this case the parameter value is 2 and finally payroll. And in this case the parameter value is 3. So there were three additional select queries to load the employees belonging to each department. So this is n plus 1 select problem. So what's the difference between eagle loading and lazy loading? Which is good? Eagle loading or lazy loading? Without looking at the application architecture and what we are trying to achieve, we cannot really say one is better over the other. Both have their own advantages and disadvantages. There are clear performance trade-offs between eagle loading and lazy loading. With eagle loading, all the data is retrieved in a single query, which can then be cached to improve the application performance. With eagle loading, we are trading memory consumption for database round trips because we are loading all the data in a single query. With lazy loading, we only retrieve just the amount of data that we need in a single query. When we need more data related to the initial data, additional queries are issued to the database. This means there are several round trips between the application server and the database server. In general, these database round trips are very often the major performance bottlenecks in most applications. Lesser the round trips, better the performance. For example, if on a given page, if we are just displaying departments, then there is no reason for eagle loading related employees data. So in this case, lazy loading works best. On the other hand, if we are displaying both the department and employees data, like we did in the example, then eagle loading works best as it avoids the additional round trips to the database. So if you're not sure of what a data is exactly required, then start with lazy loading. And if it is leading to n plus one select problem, then use eagle loading. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.